In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us call to mind our sins and ask God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God, the merciless, forgive us our sins and bring us a life everlasting. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of the Apostles, when us through his intercession, that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, may merit to be numbered among the elect. To our Lord Jesus Christ, O Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in one place. He said, My brothers and sisters, this scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry. For, for it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his encampment be for desolate, and may no one dwell in it, and May another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus, came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed to Joseph called Barsabas, who was also known as Eustace and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry, from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun, is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord, our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust 
From the downhill he lift up the poor. To sit with the princess, with the princess of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. We all rise. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No, greater, no one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not, know, does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Masantos siya kabasan at si Kinamin. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. As we gather together to ask our Blessed Mother's blessing and intercession that God will continue to guide us Today, we are celebrating the Feast of One of the Apostles. As we say, a substitute of Judas the betrayer. He is called Saint Matthias. And if you try to look at the life and titig ng po natin ang buhay ng inang Virgen Maria and si Saint Matthias as an apostle, there is only one phrase 
that captures their life. And that is what we call, or the phrase, I gave. I gave is a phrase that immediately connotes generosity, the art of giving. It is easy to give when you have a surplus or an extra. But it is a personal choice to give even what should be yours or even the less that you have. When God demands generosity from us, we have many excuses and sometimes entitlement. With all our luck and limitedness, we want security. We grab tightly on all we can have and whatever is ours because we want comfort. Security and comfort can be equated as a necessity and even as a divine blessing. Today, God reminds us also a different way of looking at our life. A different vocation to be a disciple of generosity like our Blessed Mother. Truth to tell, generosity and sacrifice go hand in hand. To give generously always costs us something. To respond to God's calling as, as to, to discipleship costs us everything. Mary's life was never the same. Saint Matthias has never been the same in his life. More than as a substitute of the betrayer Judas among the twelve, Saint Matthias is a disciple to follow Jesus even unto death. He was chosen and has given his all to God. When God calls us, like Mary, God is asking us about having less of something in order to have more of God. Dear brothers and sisters, what can we generously give up for the love of God? To be generous is freely, to freely give more than is what is necessary or expected. It is our total choice to love God and others. The cross was never a hindrance because the greatest way of loving. God demands from us more than what is necessary and more than we really should ever expect because the love of Jesus is never partial and never installment. As a true disciple like Saint Matthias, we too cannot choose to love conveniently only to those whom we like, whom we deem deserving, those we look, who look, think, or act like us. Generous love is total and giving beyond the minimum and the expected even to those who are undeserving. As a disciple of generosity like Mary, we give when we learn to serve with inconvenience. True care is sometimes inconvenient, but it is more loving and joyful to do it in the name of love. Most often, the convenience of total giving and generosity is not is is ad is ended to be fruitful in our life. Loving God is by loving others totally and generously. We learn from Saint Matthias. We learn from our Blessed Mother who always say, I gave, therefore 
I am a disciple like Mary. Amen. Please stand. God chose Matthias to be an apostle, a witness to the resurrection. Let us pray that the Father's will may be done on earth in all places and undertakings. Your response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. that the presence of Jesus, who is our truth, may be perceived through our lives, witness and examples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. That public officials may lead the people in the ways of justice, peace, and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. Prayer that dignity and hope in life may be restored among the marginalized of our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are victims of oppression may finally gain justice, freedom, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may enter the place Christ prepared for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for our own personal intentions in silence. Almighty God, your Son chose us and bear fruit in our lives. Grant these prayers we make to the intercession of St. Matthew through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented at the feast of St. Matthias, and through them and strengthen us by the power of your grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just of our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages and ending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all of our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, our bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks if let us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Matthias, and all the saints who have you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shows forever and ever. Jesus sought us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you.
Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Pagkatapos po ng ating misa, para po sa ating mga blessings na mga religious articles and rosaries, uh, inaanyayahan po namin na mag na lang po kayo at tumayo kung saan po kayo naka -stay. Kami na lang pong mga pari ang lalapit sa inyo. Maraming salamat po. At maraming salamat din po sa lahat ng mga parokyanong mga nandito sa Immaculate Heart of Mary, sa St. Rose of Lima at sa Chaplain C of our Lord Resurrection at sa Epiphany of our Lord Parish. Maraming salamat po. Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray to fill your family with divine gifts and to the Blessed Matthias' intercession for us Graciously admit to us the share of the lot of the saints in light, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended, go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the blessing for the sick. God Almighty Father, 
By your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illnesses, restore them to good health. To the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask you this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessings for the rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of life and death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor of the glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and the Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries and images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.